Hello everybody, this is Jillian from Mesa Garden. Welcome to our first genus feature video. Stenocactus is the first genus we are going to feature. We know spring is coming when we see them begin to flower. Today we are going to feature seven of the ten species within the genus. The first four slides we're going to be seeing are Stenocactus crispatus. And you'll notice that next to crispatus you'll see a name in single quotes. And that name is a synonym for that species. And what's happened over time is that these plants have been observed by professionals and they've decided that these plants should be all kind of included into the crispatus category. The next five plants we're going to be seeing are Stenocactus multicostatus. And the name steno is Greek for narrowing. The narrowing refers to the many ribs on the plants. Amongst collectors, they will often go by the name Econofossula cactus. This genus has a long history of its name change from Econofossula cactus to Sinocactus. Various authors and collectors get quite heated on the topic and there are many articles in support of both Stenocactus and Econofossulocactus as the genus name. The last Stenocactus multicostatus we're going to be viewing is the one that was discovered in Coahuila, Mexico. It is often called super multi because it has so many more ribs than the other multicostatus. Up next is Stenocactus ovalatus. Stenocactus as a whole come from the Chihuahuan Desert in Mexico and Central America. Next we have Stenocactus ochoterinatus. It is a clustering cactus that puts off many different pups on the sides. It is a highly variable cactus in nature, so it is very hard to pin down which species it really belongs to. Our next three clips are Stenocactus phylacanthus. This species occurs in areas of high grass, and the spines often resemble dried grass. Their ribs are flattened and wavy. They have different variation of flowers, white with a pink stripe, and sometimes a yellow brownish flower. Like Ocho Terranianus, there is also much variation within the species, often making it difficult to classify. Up next, Stenocactus vopulianus. It is lighter green in color and has thinner, white, dense spines with yellow colored spines intermixed. And they have yellow flowers. Lastly, we have Stenocactus coptonogonus. It has few ribs and makes it easiest of the genus to identify. In nature, it grows in a mix of desert and volcanic lands. <laughs> 